techniques that you will need in order to be able to play metal on the guitar. And I'm also going to go over four different ways to get a good metal tone, that metal sound on the guitar. Let's begin. The first technique I would like to show you is power chords. And there's two main ways to do that. Let's start with a G power chord. So you put your first finger on the third fret of the low E string. And then you can either put your third finger or your pinky on the fifth fret of the A string. So that's a G power chord. And if you play it on the fourth fret, it's a G sharp. If you play it on the fifth fret, it's A. If you play it on the sixth fret, it's A sharp. And so on and so forth. You can also do the same kind of chord on the A string and the D string, like this. So let's say you want to do a C power chord. So you put your first finger on the third fret of the A string. And then your third finger, or pinky, on the fifth fret of the D string. And again, for C sharp, you just go up one fret. For D one more fret, so on and so forth. That's the first main type of power chord. Here's the next one. So this one, you put your first finger on the second fret of the A string. And make sure you leave enough space so that the tip of your finger is not muffling the low E string. And that rings open like this. And you can also do that with the A string and D string. So you put your first finger on the second fret of the D string. And again, make sure you have room so that the A string ring, rings open. So those two types of power chords are used all the time in all different types of metal. So a good practice exercise that's also fun, if you like metal, which I believe you do since you're watching this video, is just play any power chord you want and mix them up and whatever sounds good to you, just have fun. The next technique that I would like to go over is just single notes, but you'll find that most of them are done on the low E string, the A string, and the D string. And of course there's different styles of metal, all different ways of playing, but this is the most common strings used. And really it's just playing single notes. And it's probably better if I just play it than talk about it. So there's not much to that technique except practice it a lot, have fun with that. And that brings us to our next technique that I'd like to talk about. This technique is called palm muting, and this is key to get a heavy metal sound. Let's do it. So this technique, you use this part of your palm right here, and you put it on the, actually on the low E string, the A string, D string, right by the bridge, and you'll have to experiment with moving your hand slightly to the left, slightly to the right, until you get just the type of sound you want. So I'll just play a little bit and you can kind of see what I mean. Also, you don't want to push too hard and you don't want to be too light. You'll find the right balance. So I'll just demonstrate a little bit. If you 
know what song that is, go ahead and put it in the comments. We'll see who gets it first. So I'll play that riff again and I'll slow it down and you can take a closer look at all three of the techniques we've talked about so far. <laughs> So right there you hear a lot of that palm muting right there. This next technique that I'd like to talk about is picking. So the famous riff that we played used all down strokes. So the motion of the pick is just down, 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 down. Never going up. But there are times where you want to do what's called alternate picking. And alternate picking is just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. This will give you a different sound, but it also enables you to play a lot faster. So here's downstroke. And here's alternate picking. Here's the same thing with palm muting. demonstrate all four techniques that we've talked about and this is not a famous riff this is just something that I'm gonna make up I hope it sounds heavy <laughs> techniques and demonstrations and now let's talk about tone or getting that sound that metal sound on the guitar so tone does have a lot to do with opinion but a lot of metal bands have these things in common first of all distortion a lot of guitar players use overdrive for their sound but distortion is different so here's what overdrive sounds like <laughs> is what distortion sounds like. Another important part of metal tone is to use the bridge pickup. So that is the pickup closest to the bridge and it's usually if you have a pickup selector switch it's the switch all the way to the bottom. So, so if you use the neck pickup this is what it sounds like. pickup is probably the way to go for metal. Another important thing for a metal sound or tone is EQ. Equalizers are usually low frequencies, mid frequencies, and high frequencies. And a lot of metal guitar sounds are achieved by turning the mids down. Even some metal guitar players will turn the mids all the way down. If you don't have that knob on your amp uh, mid setting, what you could do instead is just turn the low all the way up and turn the high all the way up. Just don't turn your amp all the way up. So just to demonstrate, I'm going to play some metal, of course, and I'll do some different EQ settings and I'll put on the screen what I'm doing. You can hear the difference. to get a great metal sound is to actually tune the strings down. So some metal bands tune down all the strings. Some of them just tune down the low E string. And one way you can do this is called drop D tuning. So you would tune the low E string down so that it's no longer the note E, but it's the note D. So I'm using a tuner sometimes you have to tune the A string again 
-hmm. And you can actually tune the whole guitar, especially if you have a tremolo. That usually happens where you have to tune the whole guitar again. So what drop D does is instead of playing a power chord, let's say for example the G power chord, instead of playing it like this, this string has been tuned down two notes. So to compensate, we'd actually have to play this note now. So what that does is it gives you the ability to play a power chord with just one finger like this. So there's the G power chord. So the benefit of that is you can play the open power chord like this, which is it's not E anymore, now it's D. Play it like that and then immediately jump to a power chord over here or here or anywhere. So this gives you the ability to switch between different chords a lot faster, kind of slide faster, and it does kind of sound heavier. Well, I hope you got something out of this video. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just search Guitar Increase. I'm Brett, and I thank you so much for watching.